Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. Before I continue the if video, you're interested in learning like more, you I also something. have a Telegram also, channel where I share various information that I can't post bell, here. So you and make sure to subscribe to Finally, my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. Thank so, you. without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Canada geese are honking now in great swathes in the sky, riding currents to where the water will not freeze over, and there are bits of greenery to feed on. They are the harbinger of a winter coming, and the sound of their farewells cause us all to huddle closer to the warm spots between the chilled air. Even in conversation, we are cozy with benevolence. We are brave, and we are hardy. Most of us who have been here for more than a generation, learned resilience from the generations before us, who endured a bitter wild world, to make some sort of hopeful life here when it seemed an impossible task, making the best of it, as we always have, and always will. As new generations will learn. There was and is no other way after all. But winter comes. Winter settles into our bones like an old phantom, jealously haunting our memories of hot sunny days, spent languishing because it has not known such things for such a long time, a bitter phantom who chides and jeers, and we will battle until spring. We will ski, and skate, and slide, and laugh, at the mockery. We will find a warm place, and drink cocoa with creme de menthe and marshmallows. We do not then hear the chattering of old ghosts gnawing at our bones when the winds howl. We catch the snowflakes on our eyelashes and stomp our feet in the creaking cold. And we will endure. There is no other way after all. But just before the winter comes and the geese are still flying, there is that strange time. It is always the same. The humid languor of summer snaps and the world goes mad. Quite mad. And it is madder than usual this year. This very year it is maddest of all. There is an urgency of action and a veritable cascade of events that could have just as easily happened in July, but we were simply not paying attention, because our winters gave us the right to reward ourselves with indifferent indolence. But winter always comes, and truths always snap into place like a mousetrap on a piece of cheese. Sometimes we even catch the mouse. And sometimes we can know the truth. If they let us. The days of truth are disappearing. We will perhaps only know our own experience. The rest being propaganda. We are in times of war after all. That's the rationale for all this deliberate confusion and obfuscation and prohibition. It is mostly made to make us afraid. We've reached a point where we don't know exactly what we're supposed to be afraid of most, with all that we are told, but all we know is that fear lives with us. We tuck it into bed at night. We listen to it snore. Sometimes it tucks us into bed and wraps its rough blanket around us with stories it cackles at us with its fetid breath. And in the morning we wake up and make the coffee like we always do. To do it all again, because we are hardy. We resent that we are perhaps, but we are. We made the coffee, didn't we? And that is more than some can manage some days. We can call ourselves victims of so many things and so many fears, but ultimately it does no good to whimper when there are things need doing. You still have to make the coffee. Or buy it. At Starbucks or Tim's or that other place. And if we can't afford coffee, we make parsley tea or just hot water with a scoop of whatever we can find. It is the warm and the wet and the ritual that matters most. It drives away the fear in the daylight. It starts our day fresh under the silent sun. The blank slate of our thoughts of the day will be filled with whatever it is they want us to believe now. Now that they are censoring debate and any meaningful content. We will be left with empty banal jingles and flat repetitive flavorless words and foolish rote praise for those who crave power. For those who told the truth, we will not know them anymore. They will be a stray thought inside the cage of our own mind, a vague memory of how to think. Perhaps those who pilloried and drove out the truth-tellers believe it will also drive away the fear for us, but we already know how to do that. We made our coffee, didn't we? 
We lost all the freedoms when they took that away, freedom of speech. All of them. One by one. The right at the end of the day to be a unique being interacting, questioning, and creating in a tangible reality with others. They took it all away, and gave us nothing in return, but a promise that we wouldn't be afraid anymore. They, who made us all afraid in the first place. And for most, that promise of safety was all that was required. And, they in power who promised so much, will grow more and more restrictive, as they find themselves not knowing who their enemies are. Such truths once were obvious when we had freedom of speech. Now, the not knowing will drive them a bit mad with surveillance, as if now we were all their enemies who snickered and plotted. They can't know until they add yet another chain. Each loop a fear, each fear another fear. They chain the world. Perhaps that way it will not fall apart. But before it became so bleak that we ended up there in the chained world, we can still remember we had the truth tellers when they did not censor content. Even when they started, our truth tellers found their secret words and gestures and symbols we all learned because as unique beings, we crave truth. Most of us. Maybe only some of us. It was in our nature. Some of us will not forget them, no matter how many chains we wear. Spring always comes with its promise of summer, and so we will carry on making the best of things, as we always have and always will. We will laugh in the snow and we will be brave. There is no other way after all. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.